Hey guys, Rob here from the Off Grid Tiny House. Just wanted to show you what the survival stove looked like after the burn with uh, charcoal. We got some more paint removed, but not quite everything. This side quite a bit removed. This side pretty much all of it. And same with that side. The inside, however, still charred black. And you can see my black fingers, the soot, carbon, all that good stuff. Um, here is the bottom of the mess kit um, that I kind of scrubbed. You can kind of see the streak marks there. Cleaned it up a little bit better, what it was. And then, here is that uh, metal grill. Um, that we used halfway through the burn with this guy and he went just on top and I had the the pot like that this material seems to hell out better than this guy which was the dollar store uh, Dollar Tree find this is a cooling rack and I got two of these for a buck 25 so not really a big loss but look at the discoloration and um, some of the wires bent this one bent out a little bit um, I'm sure you could use this for a while out there in the bush or whatever but um, eventually this thing would snap but I would just suggest either cutting it with some wire cutters or bend it right over flat fold it flat and do it like that but I'll still keep these until they're they don't work but other than that I'm gonna put everything back together in my bug out bag so I gotta take the survival stove apart and all that fun stuff so I thought it was a pretty good test. I know the charcoal I didn't have quite enough, but I didn't want to spend um, a ton of money on removing paint, especially when I can go harvest some more wood in the bush um, that's free. And then I can just uh, go from there. Yeah, a lot of soot there. But that's what happens. So I'm pretty happy with this survival stove, guys. And I'm just trying to figure out how eBay works and all that stuff so I can maybe sell these um, to the public. And then I think it's... I think it's a pretty good deal. I don't think I'll charge a lot for these, maybe $20. Um, that'll include the four panels that you're seeing me take apart, the wire, the extra wire, and possibly a grill, grill top, depending on um, sh the shipping. And I still got to investigate all that. So you guys let me know what you think. And uh, maybe write in the comments if you're interested in one. So, basically, that's it. And here's the spare wire that I throw in. And this is that super absorbent um, cloth material that I use. Just to keep everything neat and tidy. Um... And then it goes into my large uh, Ziploc bag here, also from the dollar store. And I need to put the... I'm either going to... i got to figure out a way to fold these over so they don't cut into the bag. But for now, I'm just going to throw in my original grill into the bag uh, with it. 
and then I'll have to figure something out later on. I think it's pretty sharp, so I gotta watch out. So voila, and then that goes into one of the pouches in my bug out bag. And then I have my survival stove, my grill. And then I just got to put my mess kit all back together. And it goes in there as well. So, uh, still struggling with the weight of the bag. So, we'll have to figure something out. I'll keep working on it, guys. And go from there. So, that's it for now, guys.